literally running back. <sighs> guys, I'm so out of breath. I cannot. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating right now. We are spending the morning in Silver Lake. It is hot, the sun's out. It's time for some iced coffee. I got the oat nog latte. Let's give it a good stir. It's very Christmassy. I'm not a big fan of eggnog, but when it's with coffee, I can handle it. I think it's really good for like a Christmas drink. I do like it more than the pumpkin spice latte that they had last month. Um, but still, I think my favorite of all time is their iced vanilla latte. And now I'm gonna try the peppermint mocha latte. I should have got this one. The peppermint is so good. You know, I love peppermint, but the mocha is really rich. If you don't like chocolate, I wouldn't get this one. The chocolate is very strong, but if you love peppermint, this is the one for you. So we're meeting up with our friend and we got him a Christmas present that's sandy wrapped. It's so cute, it's like Disney wrapped. And we're gonna get some boba, let's go. Hello, how are you? Hey guys. It's Disney. Wrapped by me, wrapped by Sandy. I can see. Specials, they have their regular milk teas and they have their fruit teas as well. I want to try the slice. Ooh. Oh, cute. I like that one. Imagine staying at a hotel and in your lobby there's a boba shop. That is something every hotel needs. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever been in a hotel that had boba in their lobby. Like, I feel like we've stayed at hotels with like coffee shops, but I've never seen like a hotel with boba shop in their lobby. Like, Hawaii, we need that. And the boba has arrived. Yay! Here we go. They have this thing called mango boba, which I've never seen before. And they also, and it's not popping boba either. It's chewy, it has like the consistency of real boba. And this is the lychee green tea with no boba. <laughs> This was so good, I almost finished it already. But it's literally a lychee green tea. It was like fresh lychee, you could taste the pulp, like it made it taste so good. And it's not too sweet and the green tea is really strong. So I really love like strong teas um, and I love it with fresh fruit. And this was definitely that. Wait, I, wanna, I wanna feel it first before yeah. I... It's so cute. It feels like a sweater. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. I wanna pull it out. <laughs> wanna pull it out. <laughs> you guys are laughing so maniacally. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please tell me you love. I love it! <laughs> it's so total. I've never seen this before. Yes. Mm. What are our thoughts? It's actually good. It's your tracking video. Yeah. Look how big this is. It's bigger than my head. It's a passion green tea. Wow, this tastes so good and refreshing. And this is only $5. Good morning, guys. I am at the Americana and I'm doing some last minute Christmas shopping. And this place brings back so much memories because I remember when I brought Tamago here for the first time, we took so much pictures of him around the mall. And that was like when I first got him and I first picked him up. So right now I'm trying to find Joe and the Juice. I know that it's by like Phil's and Shake Shack. I'm gonna walk across the street and find this place because I've never been there before. Literally everyone on my FRP is eating this tunicado sandwich and I just have to try it because, well honestly I'm not really a sandwich person but I do want to try it because I do like that it's like a flat bread and it's crunchy because I normally don't like thick bread. First, I got a vanilla ice matcha latte and I got it with oat milk, but their oat milk is like a coconut based oat milk here. Let's give it a good stir. I really like strong matcha. I don't like the overly sweet one, so we'll see how this one is. Extremely light sweetness. I think that the only reason I don't like this one is because the oat milk is a coconut oat milk and I can really taste the coconut. I feel like if the matcha was stronger, I wouldn't be able to taste the coconut, but the matcha is kind of light. Or they just didn't add enough matcha for me. 
And then I also got the Joy and the Juice infamous tuna cotto. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna record a TikTok real quick first. First off, packaging is super cute. And it looks like this. A nicely toasted thin flatbread. The comments on TikTok about like not enough tuna, I do see that. I feel like majority was like the tomatoes and avocado with just like a light spread of tuna. I definitely give the bread a 10 out of 10. Like the flatbread is nicely thin and crisp. But as for like the tuna itself, I say it's very average. Like it's like nothing special. Like it's not life changing, but it's good. I would give this a solid 6 out of 10. And since the matcha tastes so weak, I think I need to get some coffee now. But first I'm meeting up with a friend in OC I forgot. We hung out last night in San Gabriel and I forgot my camera bag in his car. So now I'm gonna head over to OC and it's an hour drive. So once I get there, I'm gonna make like at least a meal out of it. So we're gonna get pho, I think, or like, I think OC is known for a good Vietnamese food. So we're gonna try something either like spring rolls, pho. <laughs> Literally running back to join the just because I left my wallet. <sighs> Guys, I'm so out of breath. I cannot run. Oh, thank you. Hi, I think I left my wallet. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, some guys got it. Okay, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating right now. The anxiety I had in that moment, I realized it didn't explain this thoroughly. So what happened was I left Joe in the Juice to go back to the parking structure to get my car. And the parking structure is like, I would say a good like 10, 15 minute walk. Like it's pretty far from Joe in the Juice. And then when I got to the parking structure, I normally like get my validation parking, like use the machines to pay for my parking. And then I reached into my pocket to see that I had no wallet. And then I checked all the bags. There was no wallet and I was freaking out because I'm infamous for always leaving my wallet places, losing my wallet or just forgetting things. And I was like, okay, where's the last place that I went to? I immediately like started rushing back to join the juice and then I went on Yelp to try and find their phone number so I could just call them right away because like whenever you lose something like time is like so important and like within like the first like five minutes someone could literally just pick it up and leave so I was like trying to call them but they had no cell phone number on Yelp so I'm just like literally running back like running like through the mall everyone's like but I'm also like not running like a psychotic person like I don't want to set off any alarms so like I'm like I'm like low-key like just like sprinting but like n trying to look calm cool collected so I'm huffing and puffing I get back to join the juice and I'm like hey I left my I think I lost my wallet and then one of the workers was like oh yeah someone turned it in and I was like thank god thank god and then they show me like was this it and they're showing me an iPhone and my heart sank I was like oh my gosh wait they didn't find it. And then another worker came from me and she showed him like the wallet. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And then I didn't even, I don't check my DMs like throughout the day. This person literally sent me a DM. Hi, where you at joined the juice today? You dropped your wallet. I left them with the workers inside. Hope you get it back. I'm literally so thankful that there's like honest people out there in the world because I had so much cash in that wallet. I had about $2,000 cash. Whenever I go on a trip, I always make sure that I have at least $1,000 in cash. So like as a backup, as for like any kind of emergency, like I don't like intend to use it because I always use my credit cards, but I always keep a thousand dollars in cash for just like anything like like emergencies or like places that I go to that's only cash only. And then I had another thousand dollars that I was just like kind of saving for like presents and gift cards to buy for my family. But anyways, I hope that this person has a life full of great karma. I'm so glad that honest people exist out there. And that is the story of how I lost two thousand dollars in LA. I just need to not be so forgetful. Like end the story. I just finished shopping, but I do want to bring home the best thing ever, and I'm gonna get some chocolate um, Shaolong Baos to bring home. Um, I do want dessert, but I didn't know where else to get dessert here, so I was like, why don't I get Dintai Fa? And I got a Celsius because I need to wake up. I'm super tired from shopping, and I also got an Olipop as well. I'm gonna eat this with the Dintai Fung um, chocolate XO piece. Alright, 
Trader Joe's is done. But I want you guys to see the sunset. We're back in PV and check out this view, guys. All right, guys, so it's five o'clock. We just finished shopping and I got groceries. We're gonna cook. And then I also went to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a Trader Joe's haul after this as well. But we stopped to watch the sunset. It's so pretty. Everything in PV is always so gorgeous because it's like along the ocean. And it kind of reminds me of Hawaii, but like in the winter time, it's cold here. So I can actually experience seasons. So that's why I love it. Trader Joe's haul. I got Italian custard cream puffs. I got macarons. Vegan tikka masala. Guys, look how much soup dumplings I got. I got three of these. I got two of the pork and ginger. I know that the chicken one I heard better reviews, but I did want to try the pork one too. Then I got English toffee. I got three of these pistachio ones. I got three of these lacy cookies. They're so good. And the very basic but very good butter waffle cookies. And the butter almond thins. And lastly, I got crunchy chili onion oil, which I'm going to eat with the soup dumpling. This came out to about $75, which is not bad considering I got so much stuff. It's so pretty today. It's like warm. The leaves are gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this weather right now. The ATM, I might get one. It's getting the air out of stock. We are headed to the Grove. We're going to take some pictures with like the Christmas trees, the decorations, and maybe we'll see the snowfall at 8 o'clock again. Alright guys, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and a beautiful new year and I do have some videos that I still haven't posted yet of ordering the most expensive room service and showing you guys where I stayed when I was in LA as well as some footage of me eating the best food in Koreatown so that's going to be in next week's vlog, stay tuned for that and if you guys liked today's video, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're the first to watch the next video and after that I'm headed to Vegas so I have some videos Vegas content coming your way. Lots of buffets, lots of good food. But yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at Richa Hayashi, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day.